Hey guys, so um, this is actually going to be a really, really quick one. I um, probably noticed a uh, change of location. Um, yeah, I kind of just left a little bit too late in the day to record inside, so I'm at my balcony. And it's really, really cold. It's like freezing. Um, winter seems to return back to Berlin. It was summer like five minutes ago. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about today, like just, just quickly, I got a really good question uh, from the last vlog. Uh, so the vlog that I did on the sort of rope dial 101. Uh, so this guy, Gman3155, uh, um, he asks, um, Hey, I'm fairly new to raw denim. Uh, this is a question I can't really find an answer to anywhere, but I'm really curious about it. Uh, what's the difference between raw denim, dark wash denim, uh, like you get between the Gap or American Eagle or Levi's? It doesn't feel like raw, uh, but it doesn't seem to have gone under any distressing or fading either. I uh, hope this makes sense. I uh, love the videos. First off, thank you very much for loving the videos. Yeah, so, I mean, without actually like seeing the denim itself, I can't, I can't be exactly sure. But my guess would be that it probably hasn't gone through like any distressing, uh, but it probably has gone through some sort of of washing, that's why the denim's going to feel like a little bit different. It's also, it's not going to be as high quality denim as a selvage denim is going to be anyway. I mean, that's just, it's just par for the course for uh, for brands like like Levi's, sadly, especially with the red tab, um, and certainly with the Gap and American Eagle as well. We don't have that over in Europe, but I do remember seeing some American Eagle stuff when I was over in the States. Um. So yeah, probably the jeans have been like sewn together from what would have been raw denim. And then, yeah, to make it like a little bit softer, um, so people are, are used to it, so, so they're not like picking it up in the store and it's not too far away from what they're used to with a really like heavily washed denim. It probably has been washed, gone some, through some sort of washing process just to sort of soften up a little bit. Uh, also getting out all the sort of starches and other chemicals that were probably put in during the weaving process and during the samphorization process. Yeah, weaving, samphorization, samphorization, almost all commercial denims go through through that and it's just the way that the denim is shrunk down so you're not going to experience too much shrinkage and too much twist when, when it's washed with the actual garment, the jeans themselves are washed afterwards. Yeah, I mean, it's called dark wash. Again, this is just a guess, I'm just presuming. Probably just so people can understand uh, and differentiate between they'll have like a heavily washed, they'll have a medium wash, and they'll have a dark wash. So yeah, one that's really light, one that's kind of medium blue, and one that's like dark blue. Simple as that. I mean, one of the best ways that you can tell if it's good denim or not, and this isn't a hard and fast rule, as I'll explain a little bit later, but you just have to, let's see, let's go for the set. No, let's go for the what you should be looking out for first. So what you do is you go down to the hem of the jean, so the end of the jean, and you just turn it inside out. Now, turn it quite far inside out, so you can see like at least 20 centimeters, so I don't know, that's what, eight inches, 10 inches, something like this. And have a look at the seam at either side. I mean, it's the outer seam that you're really looking for, but have a look at either side as well, in case you're missing it. So here and here. If you see this kind of thing, it's probably not gonna be that good denim and the jeans are not gonna be that great. Um, it's certainly not selvage denim. Um, what you are looking for is Again, turn it inside out, 20 centimeters or so. Now what you're looking for is this, and that is your selvage ID. And that's gonna mean that the denim has been woven on shuttle looms. Um, so it's an old fashioned way and a slightly slower way of doing it. Um, what I showed you with these jeans before, the cheapos, um, that denim will have been woven on uh, projectile looms, which as far as I understand, it uses air to kind of like spit the, the thread across and it's cut. So it's got an open edge either side, so it has to be what's called overlocked. And that's what you're seeing here. It's kind of like, it's an ugly way to do it and it's quite an easy way to spot like cheap denim. Um, yeah, so you're looking for this, uh, this selvage edge. Um, 
as I said before, woven with shutter looms. Uh, that's much, much slower than the projector looms and also weaves a much narrower um, width of the, of the fabric, I think 80 centimeters or so. Um, so it costs more. Um, it's, yeah, time is money and also you don't get so much denim like per meter that's woven. Um, what I have noticed recently, and I think was it was it Volter from Long John? Um, either way, you should definitely check out Long John um, denim blog. Just type that into Google, you'll find it. It's, it's an amazing resource. But anyway, I think he posted up on Instagram recently that some some brands are kind of cheating this, and they're they're weaving like a, it's, it's almost like a woven tape. Um, that looks exactly like this selvage edge and then what they're doing is they're they're sewing it to to the out seam of, of a pair of jeans so it kind of looks from first glance like it like it is selvage like especially to the untrained eye you're just like oh excellent i've got like a, a pair of selvage jeans and they're dirt cheap um I, you're getting what you're paying for that's that's definitely true and that's why i told you like really like Pull the or like pull them inside out um, for at least 20 centimeters because usually the tape runs I don't know 15 20 centimeters up so you, you could like turn them out and then like just to the sort of passerby it looks like you've got a pair of selvage denim jeans on but it's not it's kind of cheating and I don't want you to be like conned by that um, yeah so hopefully that's answered your question and uh, you know what to look out for now you know like some of the pitfalls. Oops. Um, all I have to say is like, welcome to the fold. Um, you're gonna have a really, really good time um, breaking your first pair of, of selvage denims. Um, if you head over to to like the main channel bit, um, I said what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link here or here or somewhere um, to uh, to the rundown of how to get your perfect jeans. I've got like a playlist for that. Um, yeah, if you've got any other questions, uh, G-Man, um, just like drop them down in the uh, in the comments below. Uh, I'll happily answer them either by video or um, just typey typey like always. Um, yeah, for the rest, uh, guys, uh, thanks very much for tuning in as always. Um, head over to ropedye.com. We've actually got some really interesting articles this week, so it's worth checking out. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram at uh, ropedye.com. No, just... You can find us on Instagram at Rope Die. That's it. Um, yeah, and until next time, I'm going to be back next week and I'm going to have a look at the Amy Leverton book. So that's going to be very, very cool. So thanks for your time. Thanks for tuning in. And hopefully it's not been too noisy. And I'll see you in the next vlog.